to limit the probability of running into strong wind conditions as the Moby was never designed or intended for rough waters. Its distance would be around 40 kilometers and at an on open water some 8 to 10 kilometers offshore near Tomorrow showers are expected over Kariba but if the sun shines and there are no clouds then it will be clear. A capenta is a freshwater sardine and a substantial volume of these fish are harvested from Lake Cariba. Currently there are some 1500 capenta fishing boats on the lake and for many years catches of these fish have proved extremely lucrative but volumes have declined dramatically in the past few years due to overfishing and other factors. The Moby ship was kitted out with an autopilot and each day the day's route was plotted and the vessel was steered automatically on its course to its intended destination. It had a remote control which overrides the autopilot and on the press of a button can turn either 90 degrees or 180 degrees. When an obstruction appears or we enter shallow water. It was also equipped with two depth sounders, one alarm being set at 25 feet and the other at a deeper level depending on the expected conditions, either at 50, 100 or 150 feet. An important consideration was to limit the probability of running into strong wind conditions as the Moby was never designed or intended for rough waters and so most days we ensured reaching our destination before 9 a.m. in the morning when the wind generally begins. This day was not one of those and we had to rely on weather reports on Zimbabwe TV, which I must confess was on many days very confusing, such as Tomorrow showers are expected over Kariba, 
But if the sun shines and there are no clouds, then it will be clear. Wind will be mild most of the day, but if not, it can be very windy. This day's distance would be around 40 kilometers. And at an average speed of 7 kilometers an hour would take around 6 hours to complete. So an early departure was planned and we should have arrived at our day's destination at the latest midday. Not to be. When out on open water, some 8 to 10 kilometers offshore, we encountered engine problems and had to repeatedly stop and clean the fuel filter, which was full of a jelly-like substance which prevented an adequate fuel flow to the engine. We finally reached our day's destination with failing light around 5.30 in the afternoon. Just as well, the weather remained calm on this day, so it proved an otherwise enjoyable day's cruise.